still need to put back my, uh, where is it? Biomass burner. Because I do still need to get rid of that stuff, the flower petals in my inventory. So I'm just going to do it like this. That way I can just dump my stuff here. Missing five concrete. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So I can just come down here, dump my biomass, get some extra biomass if I need it. Just need one stack. And then for the flower petals, I just put it in here. Great place to dump it while not wasting it. No, I guess I'll just leave that there. So anyway, we have heavy modular frames. The next thing we need to work on is computers. So I need to get back my building materials, like all of them. We don't have... Okay, we have all of these. Production. Okay, we're going to need more heavy modular frames. And fortunately, we now have this production. We're just, just not getting enough of these yet. In fact, I just realized I kind of screwed this up. This thing over here is going to get the lion's share of the resources because instead of splitting them up like into groups of three like actually I can do that right now split them up into groups of three like how do I even describe it like I'm drawing a blank here, but basically it's supposed to split over here in the center, the second one and the fifth one over there, and then split further into number one and number three, and over there in number four and number six, respectively. Like a three-way split. Except I kind of screwed this up. So... Let's just fix this right now. Hey, there we go. So what I wanted to do... Put this middle one here. Here, this goes here. This. What in the hell? Oh my god, that's a merger. Okay, splitter. Okay, you're not working anymore, so gotta fix that. You're not working anymore. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. And then the other side. There we go. And do the same thing over here.
There, so it splits it two ways over here. And then the last one will go into this thing over here. So I do need to change the, that around a bit once again. Okay, splitters. And there we go. So now I can actually get rid of all of these. Okay, you know what? Probably should be careful here. I want to erase something I don't want to. I don't feel like uh, fixing that anymore. Or you know what? I guess I kind of have to. Get rid of this as well. Okay, so what's going to happen here? do it like this so same thing that we did before except it's gonna be to this middle part here so we're just gonna extend this over here And then clean these up. And there we go. So here's what's going to happen. It's going to split two ways here. And then each split will split another three ways into these three machines each. So six in total. That's what I wanted to do. And remove this now. And just not getting enough concrete despite the overclock. So how about we bring the concrete from somewhere else? I think there's like... There's like concrete over there that we're not really using. Maybe we can bring it onto the line here. Something. I'll do that later. Right now. Check out how many heavy modular frames we have at this point. We have 29 here. We have an entire stack here. You know, let's take them all. Take them all. We already got lots. Okay, so. Gonna do the same thing here for computers. Hang on, it's the blueprints that we want. So we need space of three tiles here.
We're about to run out of plastic. A little bit more plastic. Oh, uh, I should also check how much power we have. Still good on power. And you know what? Let's get another storage here as well. Okay, let's keep this going as well. Though we haven't been getting that many rotors in this area. But again, we do need to increase rotor production, but... What we do have, let's just turn them into motors. And then once we finish those, we'll be able to work on our... Project assembly stuff. Blueprints manufacturer. Let's continue this. There's five. And we got six. Hey, we're doing computers. We need circuit boards. Oh, we need to produce circuit boards. And we do have that recipe for circuit boards now. That The one that uses the copper sheets. Or, wait. Not the copper sheets. Uh, the one that uses silica instead of plastic. We should be using that instead. So anyway, circuit boards, cables, plastic, and oh, right, screws. So I think we're going to have to produce some screws up here. But other than that, plastic, cables, and circuit boards. Probably going to have to make the screws up here. Going to expand the cables from over there. But, uh, we'll do that later. Think, where is iron ore in this general area? Like, do we have anything that's unused? Like, that's already being used... You know what? I'm not really using that. I was just using the iron ore nodes just for the awesome shop. So maybe we can rework that as well. Except those are impure nodes as well. Alright. Now we do have quartz in this area over here. We're... We've been turning it into silica, so we just need to combine it with some copper. So I don't think we're going to automate computers for a while. I think we should just leave this as is for the time being. And let's just get the circuit boards into the factory here. Hmm. I also want to double check something. Like, I only have four constructors for the uh, iron plates. And this is fine. Like, it's just filling up this storage now. It's not really being used, so... I think it's fine as it is. Okay, so we still need to do this. 
still need to rework this area. You know, maybe skip it for this play session once again. Because we do have an area with lots of cables coming in. Maybe it would be wiser to utilize that area instead because it also has a lot of room and the foundations are already placed there. Uh, let me check. Okay, so what I'm going to do, grab a couple more cables. Probably should disconnect this line now. Because we really don't need all of this stuff over here. We need the versatile frameworks in order to build the next thing. Anyway, we're just going to go over here. We need to place this thing. This is still an MK1. But I want to use this node to make some more cables. check this actually producing a lot of cables but this looks like a bottleneck because this is completely filled up okay so I'm thinking let's let's just build out the second part of this Get our constructors here. Let's get just get this over with. Four. Get away. <laughs> All right. Where was I? So. This is the input. This is eight. How many was I supposed to be building? Okay, so there's four, there's eight, twelve, six. This is all I'm supposed to be building. Or wait. Hang on. There's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, twelve, sixteen. So it was supposed to be like two constructors for wire to one for cable. Yeah, sixty per minute. Each of these produces thirty wire per minute. So the ratio is correct. Uh, let's just connect this up to power. And then we need to fill this area in. Okay, so now there's 16 constructors here. And that's the output. Okay, you're lined up. Eight. 
eight. There's twelve. And sixteen. All right, so we just need to build some smelters over there to process all of the ingots. Yeah, look at that. Things flowing nicely. You probably should upgrade these. So, we used the four... A smelter blueprint. So there's 12 here. Oh, probably should... Uh, did we replace it? Yeah, it looks like we did. We replaced the conveyor belts with MK4s, so we're good. So let's just fill this in. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to do something about this area. Wonder if we can like fit it in here because it doesn't look like we're gonna need more cables. Or maybe just in case leave this empty so that we can have more cable instructors just in case. Uh, probably gonna have to build it on this lower area. So, I guess we'll fill this in. This might be a problem. I guess I could disassemble this just to reclaim this area. Uh, I need need to get rid of this. Let's turn this off. The two personal storages. Get rid of all of this stuff for the time being. Okay, time to dismantle everything here. Yeah, get rid of this. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell? Did this respawn? Because... I'm pretty sure I cleared this out in order to put down the miner. That was weird. I mean, what the hell are you doing to me, game? I think that's happening with the slugs as well, or at least some of them. Because it really shouldn't be respawning stuff that I removed from the world. But anyway, enough of that. Let me give you a proper cleaning while we're at it. Get rid of these rocks. Let's 
so we just need one or more of these. Alright, so anyway. This down like so. And we'll fill this in. I do need more sheets here. There we go. Alright, so. MK Miner 2. Can't. We need our stuff back. Need steel pipes. Need to get rid of this ore. Oh. Uh, I guess we'll keep that. But I do need my pipes. Steel. Okay, so we're good. There we go. Ah, damn it. Hey, if I can fit all of the smelters in here, that'd be great. Before smelters, copper ingots. Now this is the input, that's the output. Yeah, we're gonna need this area here. <laughs> 